Hey there, Dion, the tea priestess for you and me and a cup of tea. And I'm kind of playing dodge the light here. <laughs> but let's start off our time together today with a little smudge. I've got a sage wand here burning and you might be able to actually see the ah, beautiful smoke here. Might need to light it a little bit more baby up a little bit more. There we go. Hmm. Just to clear the space, the space between us, the space within me, the space within you. Breathing into the calm and the peace and the joy that is available to us all. Making a connection between the above and below and what is within so that it can come out. Hmm. And as we start here, take a couple of deep breaths and do that body check in. How you doing over there in your part of the world? Hey body, how you doing? Hmm. Giving yourself permission to pack up anything that is weighing heavily on you and put it outside of our space today. Hmm. Giving yourself permission to pick it up or not. <sighs> okay, I think I need to move back a little bit. It's funny in my house because I don't get a whole lot of sunlight. Yeah, that's better. I don't get a whole lot of sunlight and um, I'm in my temple space. And it is, as I'm filming this, it's later on in the day, and so the sun has kind of moved behind the trees. But the patterning, I don't know if you can see the shadows of the patterning here, <laughs> is actually my curtains. I have these sheer curtains, but they have little intricate little lacy patterns on them. And I love when the light comes through and moves those shadows around on my floor, but it also makes it a little bit difficult for filming. <laughs> so enough about me. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are, have been with me a while, thank you and welcome, welcome, welcome as well. Today I have another question. Um, thank you again for submitting questions. I love being able to answer and that gives me more ideas of things to talk about and I hope that you find them helpful. So the question is, I love your ideas about keeping your journals and I wanted to ask a question. A lot of people have been keeping gratitude journals and I started out with one too. But I found that after a while my, my gratitudes became very, very stale. How do you keep going with your gratitude journal? Thank you so much again for the question. So today I've got three tips for you to keep your gratitude journaling fresh. So one of the ways that I keep my journaling, my gratitude journaling fresh is instead of just writing down um, three things I'm grateful for, like I, I will do what I call a popcorn. So instead of listing individual things or people or, or whatever, I will write down one thing or one person and I'll write down several different things that I'm grateful for about that person or that thing. So for example, um, today, actually, and let me get my gratitude journal because I want to share it with you. So okay. I'm trying to find the one. Okay, so this day I chose to write about my son Ian and um, I I just wrote his name and I'm, I'm hmm, let me start over. 
I like to do at least three to five gratitudes in general because that just helps me to get into the full feeling of gratitude because then as I start to think about not just trying to hurry up and write something down but as I really get deeper into the why I am grateful for this person this thing that actually moves me into a place of deeper gratitude okay so I wrote that on this particular day I wrote about my son Ian and I said I am grateful for Ian's excitement for his friends to come over I'm grateful that he helped to clean up the house so that it made it easier on me to be able to be excited for his friends to come over too. So in that way, I didn't necessarily write like, I'm grateful for him, I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for that. I really went a little bit deeper in and even as I'm reading this now, you can kind of see that I have this just feeling of, oh, that's so sweet, you know? And that's kind of what you want when you look at your gratitude. You wanna be able to, when you flip back through them to go, oh, that really is sweet. I really am grateful. And the thing that I've noticed about doing gratitudes this way is that when I get specific like that and when I like write down specific things that I'm grateful for, about a person or a place or a thing, <laughs> nouns, um, that really puts me into this space of, well, what else am I great grateful for? Like really looking deeply, looking deeper at the things that I have around me so that I can be grateful. Here's another one. I'm grateful. This is where I just wrote out um, just a bunch of different things. I'm grateful for my slow morning rhythm, which allows me to listen to birdsong. I'm grateful that Lyle got a day off, and Lyle is my husband. And I'm grateful that the writing just flowed today. Um, so that's one idea. You can get specific about a person, place, or thing, or you can um, write some other, how, being grateful for that person, place, or thing impacted you, okay? So there's that. That's actually two things. Get specific, popcorn. Popcorn is where, um, and the reason that I call it popcorn is because I kind of, I put something in the center, like if I'm doing a gratitude journal piece. I'll put um, the name in the center of the paper, and then I'll just, like if you've ever seen mind maps, that's kind of what I do. I'll write, I'll, I'll have things shooting off from the side. So for example, when I'm talking about my priestess circle, I will, I'll put my priestess circle in the center and then I'll write little things like the smile the, that um, the ladies had when we were talking about certain things that all that all the ladies were there live on the call with me that um, there was a deep insight from one of the ladies that in turn triggered an insight for me um, I love the preparation that goes into um, creating a safe container for these ladies I mean so you see how I just kind of throw out a whole bunch of different things that I'm grateful for around this one topic. So popcorn, your gratitudes, okay? And then, let's see, get specific, popcorn, and write thank you letters. So this one, again, goes along with the getting specific. Instead of just writing, um, oh, I'm grateful for, I'm grateful for the heating blanket or you know, whatever is going on that day, write a thank you letter. It's actually kind of fun to write about the inanimate objects. I find it's really fun. For example, my heating blanket. I wrote a letter to my heating blanket and I started off, dear heating blanket. And then I decided that I didn't like just calling it heating blanket. So I kind of 
felt into it and I decided my heating blanket was um, named Hiro. <laughs> I don't know. I just, it, it just came out. So I said, Dear Hiro the Heating Blanket, thank you for keeping my bed nice and warm. You make it a pleasure to slip in between the sheets and stay comfy and cozy all night long. I love how soft you feel on my skin. And I love that I can turn you up or turn you down as needed, depending upon how cold it is outside. Sometimes I just like to turn you on just to have the comfort of knowing that you are functioning well. So those are some of, that's just a little bit of what I wrote to my heating blanket. You can do that with anything. You can obviously do that with people. Um, I've done that. I've, I've written a thank you note to my morning cup of tea. Um, just really allowing yourself to connect with the essence of why you have such deep appreciation, deep gratitude for that particular piece. And as you're writing your gratitude letters to um, to whatever, you might want to think of your senses. How does this particular thing or person make you feel? What do you see when you look at it? What is there a smell? Is there a, it does being with that person or um, having that thing trigger a memory that is special to you. All of these things can go into, of course, your journal. And here we are with the sun shifting again. I can see the patterning moving up my face here. So I hope that you found that helpful. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And Please share my videos with anybody that you think would find them helpful. I appreciate you finding, um, you helping to spread my videos far and wide. I will see you next time for our weekly chat. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.